Hello, Patrick Henry. Welcome to Friday Morning Meeting. I'd like to thank, first of all, Mr. P for, for filming this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. P. No problem. I'm here at the school, as you can see. I'm in the lobby. We're doing our materials distribution. Parents and family members, if you haven't been yet to pick up the new materials, please stop by. Um, our VIP speakers today are Mackay Johnson and Elliot Smith, and they will be speaking to you about a very important principle and also leading you through the Pledge of Allegiance. Again, I'd like to thank Mr. Burke for working with those students. They're doing a wonderful job. We love hearing our VIPs every Friday. After the VIP, we will have two class presentations. Mr. Godsey has a music presentation, and Ms. Schwartz also has a special presentation. Uh, I think that you're really going to enjoy both of those. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, parents, teachers, students, and staff. My name is Makai Johnson, and today we're going to be talking about character. Character is the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. Lots of different qualities make up character, and two of those things are honesty and tolerance. Harriet Jackson Brown Jr. once said, our character is what we do when no one is looking. Harriet Jackson Brown Jr. is an American author best known for his inspirational book called Live's Little Instruction Book, which was a New York Times bestseller. Honesty is one part of character. One day I was playing in my grandmother's living room, even though I knew I was not allowed. I ended up knocking over her face and it broke. I freaked out. But when she came home, instead of saying I don't know what happened, I told the truth and was honest. My grandmother got mad, but she forgave me. Students, when you make a mistake, don't justify it, acknowledge it, and do the right thing. Next, we have Elliot Smith talk about tolerance. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Hope you enjoy your day. Hello, my name is Elliot Smith. According to the dictionary, tolerance is the act or practice of tolerating sympathy or indulgence for one for beliefs or practices different from one's own. In other words, tolerance is being okay with people who are different than you. Just like Mackay's example of honesty, tolerance is an example of character. I think Dr. Seuss's book, Port and Here's a Who, speaks a lot about tolerance. In the book, there's a speck of dust flying by, and there's a who calling for help on top of it. Horton hears it, and he wants to help save the who's. He says a person's a person no matter how small. That means you can be very small, but you are still a person. Helen Keller, who is a blind and deaf author, once said, the highest result of education is tolerance. I think in Heart and Here's Who, there's a lot of intolerance from the other animals. But by the end of the story, they are educated and come to understand that the Who's exist and that Horton was right. To close, I would encourage you to accept that people are different from you in many ways. It is important because you can learn from everybody's differences. Tolerance is just one of the many examples of character that Makai spoke about. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Hi everyone, we are Ms. Schwartz's fourth grade class and we are here to teach you all about the history of Halloween and a very special moon happening on Halloween this year. Halloween began in Ireland more than 2,000 years ago. Halloween is traced back in the ancient Celtic festival called Simon. jack o lanterns used to be carved from potatoes, but after potato famine, people began to use pumpkins instead. To keep evil spirits away, Europeans dressed up in scary costumes and made huge bonfires. Black represent the darkness that comes winter nights. Orange is from the changing color of the leaves in the sunset. In the 1950s, for trick-or-treating was nuts, fruit, and homemade cookies. Then 
at some point when it became all sweet and candy. Candy corn used to be called chicken feed. On the night of October 31st, they celebrated Sam Ham, Sam Ham, when it was believed that the ghost of dead returned to Earth. So now we have breaking news for our scientists from space. The blue moon is called the harvest moon. This only happens once every 18 to 19 years. The last blue moon was in 200, 2001. The blue moon is called the harvest moon. The, a blue moon is the second full moon in a calendar month. For a blue moon to occur, the first of the full moons must appear at or near the beginning of the month so that the second will fall within the same month. An average of time between the two moons is 29.5 days. Happy, Happy Hey there, Mr. Gatsi here, music teacher. I'm gonna share with you some compositions from third, fourth, and fifth graders, just a few from each grade. And they were using Chrome Music Lab. It's like a Google um, kind of program. All the notes are on a grid, and then you can set different um, kind of settings so that you have different scales that like everything they would put in here would sound good. So there was a lot going for them to make this sound good. It's designed that way. Um, but it was super interesting to see what the kids came up with. Um, me being the music teacher, like here, I'm just putting out the scales. You know, I want to figure out what the scale looks like. And that's their pentatonic. And then the major. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Do, re, mi, sol, la, do. So third and fourth really focus on pentatonic. And, uh, we add those extra two notes for a major scale in fifth grade, but I didn't give the kids any kind of, I didn't tell them what to do. I just let them have it. So it was really interesting to see what they came up with. Um, and some started to find that, you know, you can change the, the percussion sounds, the percussions at the bottom. Change the piano, you can make it faster. And then some wanted to make it longer. So together we figured out, you know, there's a whole bunch of settings in here where you can change the length. Um, I like they say beats and bar. You know, we talk about these words in uh, in our music classes. So let's let's uh, without further ado, let's hear from Jason Pina. Okay, lots of color here, so probably lots of sound. I love the steady beat. Oh, I'm remixing it. thing it I really like how he did the exact same thing I mean this is kind of crazy to look at right but it's it's the exact same sound the whole time and it just makes a really uh, easily list listenable <laughs> loop try saying that five times fast Lillian McCormick lots of space in the melody So it has a period at the end of the sentence. I like that there's an ending to that. Very cool. Lillian. Go to Kate and Connor. Donovan Heifel. Focusing on the beat. And maybe they didn't finish. Um, some of them sent these to me before the class was over. I did make an assignment for most classes for kids to send them, but I, I don't do very many assignments, so it's understandable why. Um, 
they weren't doing them. And I told them that it was optional. So Melissa James. I love I told them to try to fit their scale in and Alyssa got hers in right here um, da, 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 which is um, really nice that they can see that the scale is this pattern of just going up because that's what a scale does you you know you go from the beginning to the end you're going up and then maybe back down or whatever but the scale that we practice is just the lowest note to the highest note um, hers was through composed so they weren't really repeating parts it just kept doing new things all the way through You'll see here, Sebastian Bone says, my re remix of Violet. So I told them that they could click on each other's and change them and then save those and make a remix. So this is Sebastian and Violet. And I told them I really like when you end on Do, the red one. That's the home note. It just sounds like a period. It sounds like the, the song is done. Very good thing to end on. So together they made it longer than the normal one. And I believe Violet started with the melody and then Sebastian added the harmony, which is like so cool. Ja'Kayla Morris remixed Deshaun's. The kids really like the marimba sound, which is an instrument that they play when we can play together. Claire Connor was the first person to write her name. <laughs> uh, and that's totally a thing in other music programs. Uh, there's like YouTubes and memes and stuff of people spelling out different things and seeing what it sounds like on a grid like this. Um, but Claire was the first student I saw. Say, I would say her name sounds really good. I also told them if they could fit their scale in somewhere, and she did, she hit it kind of in this middle section. Nice. And Waverly Smith is our last one. She also spelled her name. Let's see what her name sounds like. here I really uh, I really like this because it's a nice little pattern that just changes a little bit and there you have it folks student composers and they did a lot of the a lot of them did it in like just just the last ten minutes of class. So uh, it'd be exciting to see what we could come up with when we actually know how to use the program. I just let them loose to see what would happen, and uh, it's cool when you let kids just go for it. So thanks everybody, and uh, have a great weekend. Bye. I'm going to move ahead to our crotches for the week, and these have been sent in by teachers and helpers around the school. Mr. Burke has several. Aiden. Oakley Joe, Sophia, Tripp, all of you are showing maturity and initiative in small group. Mr. Burke had some technical issues with his computer during class and he had to get out of class for a few minutes, but when he came back in, you all were teaching the class and helping students solve the problem, so fantastic job. Mateo and Edison are being recognized by Mr. Burke for always being so encouraging to others in the class. Edison, Everett, Mackay, and Elliot are being recognized today. Well, there's our bell. Most of you know that's our bell to go home, um, but we are in school. 
So Edison, Everett, Mackay, and Elliot, um, congratulations for being the first volunteers to do our VIPs this year. It's a scary thing to, to do this and get out in front of everyone, and you guys are just doing a magnificent job. Thank you for your grace and perseverance, for your drive, and Mr. Burke wants to thank you as well for encouraging each other. Ms. Coleman. Ms. Coleman would like to recognize Edison and Mateo uh, for encouraging a friend who felt bad for getting a problem wrong. And they wanted this friend to know that it's okay to make a mistake because that's how you learn. You learn from making mistakes. So their friend felt better after that encouragement. Thank you, Edison and Mateo. Mr. Schwartz has a katcha here for Isaiah Staten. He is always on time. He's ready for class. He has his homework in on time, and it's always very well done. He also wants to recognize Marley Moore for her diligence and working hard in class. He is so proud of her and the work that she is doing this year. So congratulations to Marley and to all of the students who were caught this week. And remember, if you want to get caught next week, show your teachers your best selves, and maybe they'll send me your name as well. I'd like to thank you all for listening and being here and wish you all a very happy weekend. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.